Hey guys, how are you doing, sisters and brothers? Yesterday I spoke with you a little bit about the power of prayer, the person's simple prayer um, while repeating um, the words in Shmona Isre when we're trying to ask and request um, from the Creator to open gates of bounty to us all. So I mentioned the fact that when you repeat certain words over and over and you keep on asking for an example, please heal us until we will be healed completely. And you repeat that over and over, Rafaeno, 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 heal us, heal us. Then it's waking up the intention of your heart and it brings your prayer to be much more honest and to come out from much more sincere place and toward the gates that we're trying to open, the gates of mercy um, that are above in heaven. And there is the same thing um, that I wanted to mention with learning, when a person is learning. Many times uh, when you go and try to learn, when you want to learn from the wisdom of heaven, you want to learn Torah, you want to learn from the Bible or from the wonderful sayings of um, of our ancestors or of the earliest um, righteous ones who establish the learning and the oral Torah in the Talmud, in the Mishnayot, in the Zohar Kadosh Midrashim, and you want to learn, many times you face situation and way of learnings that are not shining that for you, that are not inspiring you, that you don't understand what's going on in that learning and it makes you put an effort in a direction that is not waking you up, that does not help you to find the answers that you were looking for. On that, and that's the solution, it been said, Le'olam yilmad adam bemakom shelibo chafetz. A person always must learn in a place that his heart desires. Only in a place that your heart desires you should learn. And the place is not the synagogue or the Beit Midrash or your house. The place is the place of your learning, means the book that you open, the chapter that you open. That must be a learning that will shine, that will make your heart satisfied while learning. And with that energy, the positive one, that you understand what you learn and that you get the message and that it touches your own life, your life situations, you'll find the motivation to continue and learn more and it will pull you and it will push you um, further on to continue and search for more things that are a little bit far away, far ahead and um, it will give you the motivation to continue. When a person, let's say that now you need to um, set a better diet for your health if you're just gonna try to take something that is bitter for you or not tasty or not satisfying for you, it won't last for a long time. It's better to do things in a balanced way that you will also balance your diet and fix your way of eating and also gonna stick to certain things that are satisfying you, that are helping you to be happy, to be relaxed, to to, to refresh yourself and, and, and not to destroy your spirit while building your body. Also in learning it's the same. We can learn from eating physically to spiritual eating. That when you want to learn and to feed your soul with learnings, you need to feed your soul with learnings that makes you happy. And not with learnings that will drain your mind and make you weak and feel bad about yourself or because of the topics that are written over there, that those topics are very harsh or hard to understand, or because that it will just be boring for you and you won't find yourself in that learning and then you're going to lose the motivation, the reason um, of, of, of your own to sit and, and invest more time in learning. You're going to ask yourself, what am I doing it for? But when a person will follow that advice, and me, myself, I was taking that advice for a long time. I had periods of time in my life that 
I was not able to sit and learn Gemara and I didn't felt that I'm able to focus and learn uh, Shulchan Aruch and, and uh, books of rules and, and whatever and I had other issues in life that troubled me that, that took away my ability um, of concentration, of being focused and, 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 and settled in my learning and I was not able to sit for a few hours, just I had a few minutes or something like that and also I was struggling and only learnings of, for an example, stories on righteous people um, reading certain um, parts of Zohar or Midrashim that were shining for me or from um, Tehillim or just saying Tikkun Aklali or something like that was things that gave me the power to hold on those days without learning in other subjects and other books you have certain periods of times in your life that you're not able to invest more than the minimum and in those times you need to allow yourself to learn from the things that will satisfy you the most and will pleasure you the most and will give you the satisfaction and the joy and the motivation to continue and to keep on attaching yourself through the learning to the Creator and to learn more about your own spirit and to find answers to your own uh, life questions and especially in our generation many of us are enjoying content then that is online like my classes for an example or other teachings that can inspire you and those learnings and those teachings are also very very powerful and been given to us by the creator for us to use and not to judge ourselves oh i'm not opening any books oh i'm not doing this i'm not doing that relax lean back breathe pray for that if you want to achieve a higher level of learning m more in depth so pray for that so think about it so try to plan it try to see how to make it happen um, in a comfortable way and balanced way for you and for your loved ones and with time it will come but as of now if there is a simple teaching that is satisfying you that gives answers to your questions you need to believe in yourself that that's the learning that is needed for you that that is the path that you should walk on and to feel comfortable with yourself while learning and hodu l'ashem kitov ki l'olam chasdo we should thank hashem for his grace always thank you and bless you and please help us and support our project we really can use your support to increase um, our wonderful work and to expand the distribution in the world we just um, finished printing a new edition of the book of the world and we're working on other two books of mine very grateful to the creator for helping us buy those books help us to distribute them for sure you'll enjoy reading them and also to hand them to your surroundings to your loved ones for sure it will help them and assist them in their path of tshuva to come back to their true selves and to find the creators in their lives may heaven bless you that all your prayers will be answered in no times in no time amen let's say it again that it will come out perfectly a perfect prayer is stronger than a broken prayer may the creator bring down huge amounts of bounty May the Creator bring down huge amounts of bounty for us all, that all our prayers and holy desires will be answered in no time. Amen. Thank you. The world is not existing. Because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just